What is going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here and the Blackout Battle Royale Beta is finally here for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and today I thought I would just give my day one review of the beta, what I think so far and what I think needs to be fixed and more. First and foremost guys, I think it should be known that the numbers on Blackout for total viewers on Twitch is astonishing. So as I'm recording this video, just on Twitch alone, Blackout has over 300,000 viewers and the game literally came out a few hours ago. That is honestly insane guys. YouTube maybe has close to 150,000 or 200,000. So my guess is the total viewers on YouTube and Twitch alone is close to 500 thousand and again this game literally came out a couple hours ago these are some insane insane numbers guys blackout is honestly doing very well across social media uh, my twitter has been blowing up talking about this game and, and yeah I, am, I mean it really does play up to the hype as well i've been having a really fun time on this game like i i just want to play more and more and more of blackout um it's a lot of fun like i said but there are some things that do need to be fixed and some stuff that also needs to be addressed one of those things david vandahar uh kind of took took to on twitter um he said that coming soon we've already got improvements in the main game where you won't have to look so precisely at an item and just be close to it i'm not sure yet if i can get those in the beta certainly will be in version one and this honestly was one of my biggest issues with the beta i feel that you really have to be up close to any loot item in the game in order for you to see it it's it's just very very annoying especially if you're in a room that's very dark it's kind of hard to see the loot items especially like the ammo and even some of the the bandages too so like I said, this is a big issue and it's getting looked at. I have passed up so much ammo, armor, health, perks, like literally everything. And I just really wish there was like some kind of a shiny indicator that lets you see the item better. And uh, another thing guys, Vaughn said that they are looking into is picking up loot off the ground. Basically, you kind of have to be right up close to that item. And I really hate that because it takes a really long time to, you know, just find a good enough spot so you can actually pick up what Whatever that item is I think when it comes to picking up ammo then yeah we should not have to get right up close to it I think we should just be able to walk right past it and we're gonna have it in our inventory that's how ammo should work but for everything else you know the stretch should be definitely extended by a tiny bit just not to the point where we have to be like right up close to the item in order for us to pick that up it's very very annoying and I'm really glad that Vaughn is looking into fixing that um, but in terms of like graphics uh, the game really isn't all that bad looking, but it's also not that good if that makes sense. I think the graphics are kind of just average, but from a far distance, the textures don't render out sometimes for me. But I know it's a beta and more than likely all that is going to get fixed for the final version of the game in October. But guys, in general, Blackout looks very, very promising. I've seen a lot of good feedback from popular streamers like Shroud and Dr. Disrespect, and I agree with what they had to say about the game. Blackout has lived up to the hype so far, but of course there still needs to be some fixes, some fine tuning here and there. But most of the main concerns I was having, Vaughn kind of addressed those already. But I do however think that maybe the amount of health in the game needs to be slightly lowered. Um, like the amount of health you find off the ground, not the 150 health. I think that's fine actually. It doesn't really affect me too too much. But like I've seen so many gunfights and I've been in so many gunfights where it, it just takes a long time to to even just do a decent amount of damage to the enemy team but then like they'll just instantly heal up back to 150 and yeah that's very very annoying also body armor needs to be slightly nerfed just not extremely nerfed but i just hate the fact that if you see another guy first you get first shot off of them but then they instantly turn around because you know they have body armor and they and, and that ate your bullets i think that is very annoying um body armor should get a slight nerf but not too too much 
to where it's just unusable. And uh, going back to the health part, like w w what I mean by that is there shouldn't be so many health packs off the ground. Like I've seen so many of the uh, regular common health packs that they come in bunches of like three or four. And I think they need to be lowered down just a tiny, tiny bit though. Um, also, also just the health in general, there shouldn't be that much health you find. Like every room, it seems like there's going to be a health pack in there. And yeah, I think that needs to be slightly lower just a little bit. Um, but just in general, man, I've been having a really fun time on Blackout. I think Blackout, honestly, is going to kill PUBG. That's pretty big to say, but Blackout just feels like a finer tuned version of Player Unknown Battleground. That's what it feels like to me. I don't think it can. it's better than Fortnite. I don't think it can kill Fortnite. I think it can rival Fortnite for sure. But man, PUBG just isn't looking too well after Blackout, man. Uh, but that's just my prediction though again blackout is really really fun if you guys haven't played it yet go to target get the one dollar pre-order card um for black ops 4 and get the beta for this game man i guarantee you you're gonna have a fun time playing and who knows maybe after the beta is over you're gonna get your mind changed about black ops 4 maybe you'll decide to pick up this game again it's very fun i cannot stress that enough guys but i really want you all to tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments also drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and thank you for watching until next time i'll see you guys later